to tangling along with me we are continuing on tanglepatterns.com and today it is this pattern that we're going to do but first we are going to loosen up our shoulders relaxing our hands and fingers and we are going to relax breathe just be grateful to be here be grateful for having a home, food and clothing and the opportunity to just sit and relax and draw. So we'll open the, the book and we don't have to make the string as it's already ready for us. So I'm just going to take my Micron PN, that's the black one and we are going to do this pattern i think we're going to take this one up here this is one of the pattern that is uh, kind of hard for me to do because it's kind of random you need to make some uh, double lines like this and you need to make them random around the place where you want this tangle to be and this random thing is not that easy for me. I have a hard time doing anything that's random. Also a reason why I like tangling because uh, normally there's a rhythm to it, nothing uh, random about it. I'm not good at that. Then we are going to make an orb in one end and then an orb in the other end. And we're gonna do that on all of these. And we're going behind if we are uh, crossing a line. And this little orb can be big or small, depending on what you like. Let's make a bigger one right there. Smaller one. Or they can even be uh, kind of connecting with one of the other lines. If you like that. And then you just uh, fill out the space with these. Um, you can always put in more of them if you need to. I find my space kind of empty here, so I'm just gonna pop in a few more of these. Oh, I can have one right here as well. Okay, I think I will stop with that. Um, so you can leave the background just like it is or you could pop in a few different dots here and there if you like to just to fill out the background a bit in between all of these figures here you don't have to do this there we go. So that's a pattern. That's how it is easy. It <clears throat> that's how easy it is. I'm going to take my white charcoal and just place a tiny bit here in the middle of these. Uh, let's call them dumbbells. Looks a bit like those. So I'm just placing a tiny bit of my white here and using my touchy young. To soften out. The graphite. And kind of pushing it into the paper. Then I'm going to take my graphite pen. And I can make some shading on these. On the orbs here if I want to. Take 
taking my touchy young. You can make a shade where uh, they're actually going over another one of these if you want to. And just like that, it's more 3D than before. There we go. Um, just gonna remove a little of that. I got it outside the edges. Don't want that. There we go. Like that better. So that was the pattern for today. It was this pattern right here. I think it's actually really neat. It's one of the harder ones for me because I'm not good at this uh, random thing. But I think it actually turned out pretty neat. So that was all for today. Thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude.